We're here celebrating 100 years of the Coke bottle, and it's very exciting for me because, you know, some of my earliest memories were as a little girl and drinking Coca-Cola. It's just synonymous with nostalgia, childhood, something very pure for me. So I'm really excited to be here. Coke is one of those iconic worldwide brands. Probably the first treat that I can remember being allowed to have as a kid. There's some exciting parts here. It combines, as Coca-Cola always has, the old and the new, and also things that we've done, but things that, more importantly, people have done as they've taken Coca-Cola into their lives. And over 140 countries will now begin what we call the year of Coca-Cola and the year of the Coca-Cola bottle. At the beginning of the exhibit, with the glass exhibit, you know, tracing the history of our glass and then into the history of the bottle from its original patent in 1915 and then to exciting things like our aluminum bottle shape. And then the room beyond this is an entire room of Andy Warhols where through Coca-Cola, he really discovered his pop art style. You know, this is a great story for the High Museum of Art as the most important museum really in the southeastern United States, certainly the largest and the hometown museum of the Coca-Cola Company. I think it's a perfect marriage. There's a great art story here. It's a design story, photography story, and, and a terrific painting story. So we were thrilled to be able to show it here at the High. There's nobody, nobody like you. There's nobody, nobody like you. The way I just performed the song, uh, which I did with Rock Mafia, called Nobody Like You. We were able to flip the script while making it both about uh, the significant other as well as the bottle. 129 years ago, an amazing relationship began between the city of Atlanta and Dr. Pemberton and the Coca-Cola family. Coca-Cola is so much a part of the evolution of our city and the growth and development of it. And it's a true celebration of the great heritage of Coca-Cola and its bottle. I think Julianne Moore is one of the greatest actresses we have. I mean, this movie, it really was all her. I feel so honored to have had a front row seat to what she did. I still love the glass bottle so much. I think it feels quite classic to everybody. It's a taste that you can summon right there in your mind and, and probably bring up some really great memories. And also the memories that you'll continue to make. Coca-Cola people.